Order. Order. Senator Wobo, she take your seat. <laughs> Senator Bamidele, can you please take your seat? Senator Bamidele, take your seat. Distinguished colleagues, we have before us the nominee from Koji State, Hadia Ramatutijani Aliu. I want to, on behalf of the Distinguished Senators, Welcome you to the Senate Chambers. We already have your copies of your CV, but you can still highlight those uh, things in the CV that you think need special note by the Senate. And in fact, you may even speak to those that have not been included in the CV for emphasis. Once again, you are welcome and I want to assure you that this Senate is very, very, very gender friendly and you are at home. You are welcome. You can address the Senate. Mr. President of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Distinguished Senator Ahmed Lawan, Mr. Deputy President of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Distinguished Senator Ove Omo Agege Ogege, Principal Officers of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Distinguished Senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, my distinguished female Senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, again I will say the Senator of my constituency from Kogi State, Senator Dino Nimai. to stand before you today, this August Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, by the will of the Almighty and the confidence of President Muhammadu Buhari, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Distinguished Senator Sir, I am Ramatuti Jani Aliyu, a town planner by profession and a politician by vocation. Distinguished Senator Sir, born into the royal but humble family of Alaji Mamman Bawang Allah, the Agenture of Kakanda Budan, 
local, the local government Koji State into the household of Alajisi Ali Mama, a quintessential civil servant who has taught me from the onset side. Hard work, humility, honesty, education, and most of all, the fear of the Almighty was all he had to bequeath to me. And by this I lived throughout this session, my most distinguished senators, and I still live till date. Your Excellency, sir, you may wish to permit me to take you down a little memory lane, sir. You may go ahead. Your Excellencies, I will take us all back to one fateful day in the year 2003. Perhaps I might be free to call it an encounter with destiny. But whatever it is, changed my life. And I believe for the better. Moving from my office then to Guagulida Special Hospital, Specialist Hospital, I made this encounter with a Nigerian citizen, a common man, on his bicycle, taking his wife to the labor room. I posed to assist just like every other Nigerian because we realized she could neither sit on the bicycle nor walk to the labor room. But in this option, I will tell you I have no regrets till today my distinguished Senate President, because we got there, she went into labor, but immediately, but he realized there was a lot more beyond taking her to the hospital, which he did as a reflex action. He needed money. He didn't even carry. He was in a rush. The system said you had to get a card, you have to pay. He needed somebody to stay with the wife. He needed to pay. He needed to source the fund. We became family because we had to stand in there. Let me cut this story short, distinguished Senate President, sir, and distinguished senators. She had this baby, but a stillbirth. The baby she took in and runs for nine months. Very touching. In this agony, after this charge, we took her home to a suburb called Dagiri or Guagolada Area Council again. We were welcomed into this squatter settlement, I will call it. Then greeted us was what they call a home, and to most average, average Nigerians, that still serve as home, a structure constructed or made of a leather, both skeleton and roof, then the frame of bamboo. We were touched again. Then I realized there was a life other than that which I lived. And I realized that there was a lot more besides certificates that we can selflessly do as citizens of this nation to give back to the society, to this great nation, that which we've been privileged to have, Mr. Senate President, sir. Not only seeing that, but in getting into the room, the bed was just the bare mat. In this agony, she sat with relatives holding her as she wept. Welcoming her was the hot water. Now again, distinguished senators takes us to an existing problem that still lingers on today. Housing, women empowerment in this country. Of course, the problem also of maternal mortality. 
which is at the high ridge. Housing, because to most Nigerians, we call a house, we define a house by whatever it is that gives us shelter or wherever we can lay our hands. But beyond that, sirs, how ready are we to revisit some of these issues, sir? Sir, we are still standing here today on records, is it that within the range of 17, 18 to 20 million, debatable, the housing is still in deficit. Your Excellencies, we have the slums to upgrade. We have the urban areas also to renew. But we cannot do it alone, but by advocacy, sir, by your support of this great house Senate, we know you do us proud. You've always done it, and we believe in your capacity. And we also believe in this administration of President Muhammadu Buhari that a lot will be visited. But besides all, the tears will be wiped off a Nigerian woman on the street and the hope for the less privileged and for the girl's choice, sir. This woman will not let you down. Thank you very much, sir. Minority Leader. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. <coughs> Mr. President, sitting in the chair, my highly distinguished and respected Deputy Chief Whip, your order is fully sustained. Leader, continue. Thank you very much, uh, leaders. Before she takes the bow, let me say that this Senate is and will remain gender sensitive. We have not many in the Senate, but high caliber, high quality, and performance. Between yesterday and today, we had two great ladies who address us. And I'll be speaking the minds of everyone here that they have given a very good account of themselves. In fact, we don't clap in the Senate, no chair. Otherwise, we would have chaired those two ladies for the great performance they have put. We wish those ladies who have been nominated and who will be ministered by the grace of God all the best and they have a home in this Senate and indeed in the National Assembly will support you all the way in your given assignments. You can now, no, no, before you take the bow, let me put the question and of course we know the answer. Those in support of the motion that the nominee takes a bow and will say aye. Those against any, the eyes have it. You can take a Thank bow. you very much, sir. Distinguished colleagues, you know we are supposed to go on break from one o'clock, one hour's break. So we will uh, suspend sitting until two o'clock and it will be one hour when we will return to continue with the screening exercise. Senate Leader. 